So a little while back I garbage picked this Husqvarna 125B leaf blower and uh, unfortunately it did not have spark. So I went ahead and bought a new coil. Now if the issue is not the coil that's going to be a little bit embarrassing. So what we're going to have to do to replace the coil is remove the pool starter and also remove this side of the plastic housing. So there's four screws on the pool starter and three screws on the handle area and they're all four millimeter Allen head. So there you have the coil and it's plugged in to the kill switch up here with this little spade connector. Unplug the spark plug. Now we're going to need a Torx screwdriver to remove the coil itself. This is a T20 Torx screwdriver. It seems a little loose. It might be one size larger. So that's the old ignition coil off. It looks like maybe moisture got to it or something. The potting around the iron laminates is uh, sort of shrunken a little bit. It's cracked. So um, it doesn't look great. So now we're going to put the new coil on put it into place and remember to put this ground wire through the top bolt and the lower bolt. And now I'm not going to quite snug up these bolts. I still want to be able to adjust the position of the coil up and down. I'm going to take this uh, a paper towel roll and it's going to be representative of the gap that I'm trying to achieve. So while holding the coil up, I'm going to rotate the flywheel to the point where the magnets are up towards the coil. Now don't let go of the coil because it's going to snap against the flywheel and it's going to be difficult to remove it again unless you rotate the flywheel. So I'm going to put the piece of cardboard in between there and I'm going to let go of the coil. So that's the, the gap that we're aiming for. Now I'm going to tighten these bolts up so that the coil doesn't move anymore. And I'm going to remove the cardboard and we've got a gap there. Perfect, I think. And I'm going to reattach the kill switch spade connector and the spark plug and now I need to figure out how these covers go back on there you go now we gotta put three screws back in the handle and uh, there are actually two different types of screws. One has a, a coarse thread that goes into the plastic areas and one has a fine thread that actually threads into the engine case. So these four fine thread screws need to be used for the pool start and you use the three coarse thread screws for the handle. Okay, so that's all back together. It's time to see if it'll start. Put some choke on. That's what I'm talking about. Half choke. That's a free leaf blower fixed by a $20 part. 
to the point where the magnets are up against the coil. Now be careful, you're gonna 